you imagine you pluck out one of your hairs and you split it a hundred times, and then you take one of those fractions and you split it a thousand times again, that's just about a nanometer. What is a millimeter to a kilometer is a nanometer to a millimeter. A nanoparticle is a small collection of atoms or molecules which have one dimension out of three dimensions that's less than 100 nanometers. So a nanoparticle is basically just a particle that's about a thousandth time the size of a cell. You could say that nanotechnology simply represents the state of the art in um, science and technology today. We now understand the world on the scale of nanometers. My favourite application of a nanoparticle is medicine, because if you can get like a nanoparticle, if you get one that's hollow, you're able to put drugs inside and you can selectively deliver that to the spot that it's needed. You can put a cancer medication in and selectively deliver it to where the tumour is. So you can make um, any number of different devices, but at a much smaller range, so rather than having them uh, at a microscopic range to go into a nanoscopic range, which is about a thousand times smaller. A nanoparticle has novel properties that a larger type of material may not have, such as we can use titanium oxide particles in sunscreens that make them clear, or we can use silver oxide particles in fridges so they're antibacterial properties. If we look around the world, we see many new industries emerging in the nanotechnology sector. In Australia, we see very successful businesses producing nanoparticulate materials for uh, medical and diagnostic and human cosmetic applications. There's really a new generation of businesses being created that are relying on nanotechnology. We offer nanotechnology as double degree programs at La Trobe. We do this because we are committed to blending both science and nanotechnology together. I get to study two majors in science at the same time, which saves me time, but also they link into each other. So something you learn in chemistry can really help you with your physics degree and vice versa. The nanotechnology program at La Trobe offers innovative programs, excellent laboratory resources, a cutting edge approach, opportunities for international experiences and a personal approach from the academic staff. I like the teaching staff at La Trobe because they're just on your level, they're really engaging and they're there for you. In our practical laboratories we use a technology enabled approach to really bring to life students practical experience. Scanning probe microscopies are a new generation of very advanced microscopes which allow you to examine the world at the atomic scale. They're extremely flexible and really a core microscopic technique for physicists, chemists and biologists around the world. Students get hands-on experience with this next generation technology. You just get an atomically sharp tip and you rust it over a surface and it measures the electrons that jump from the surface to the tip. And from that you can get an idea of the topography, so the height trace of the sample. I really like the campus, it's really beautiful and open and there's lots of trees and nature around and I really love the people here. All of our students get together every fortnight to hear a leading speaker in the field. The person could be from government, could be from industry and they're bringing the student body the most up-to-date knowledge in the field that we can present to them. Our graduates have a very broad range of experience. In fact, they graduate with three majors. They're highly employable and have worked in a range of different industry sectors in Australia and indeed overseas. I want to go into research. That's what I'm really excited and passionate about, uh, whether that's at La Trobe or overseas or at a company. Nanotechnology incorporates so many of the science majors. You're still like qualified for any other job that anyone else coming out with a science degree is. It's so interesting and it's so new and exciting and that there's still things here to be discovered which I might be able to do. It has the potential to go anywhere and I like that about nanotechnology. It's a field that I can sort of get into but not be stuck in. It's a field that's emerging and growing so I have choice.